Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn how to handle mouse over on some web element in your application. So many times you will require to mouse over on particular web element, only then a menu will appear and then you can interact, right? So I'll take a real example here and let's go to the same website that we have been working, yatra.com. And here, if I open this particular website, you will see that there is a more button there or more section there right so as soon as I hover over this more you will see a sub menu or a drop down appears right so if say for example I have to click on this explore okay so usually what I'll do is I'll you know mouse over and then as soon as you mouse over then it appears and then you can identify the web element the locator for this web element and click on it similarly if you go to my account you just go to mouse over you do mouse over and then it appears the login and sign up say for example I have to click on login or my bookings or my eCash then I have to mouse over on support or account so depending where I want to go I have to mouse over so this is very very common functionality that you will find in the web applications and you need to understand how you can handle mouse overs so let me first click on this explore so if say for example I don't mouse over and try to click on this explore so let me inspect this explore option there and open selector sub and let's copy this relative X path for the explore okay so here prior to that let me create a new Python file and I will name it as demo mouse over okay let me copy the same code for the JS alerts and then I'll remove everything apart from maximize window. All right. And here I'll change it to demo mouse over the method name to demo. Just say mouse events. All right. Okay. So now what we are trying to do is we'll open yatra.com. So we'll just copy this URL and replace it with the yatra.com and then maximizing the window. All right. So now if so, for example, without mouse over, I want to click on this explore. Let me try to do that and see what error we'll get. So we'll say simply driver dot find element and here by xpath we have copied the xpath and comma separator will pass the xpath and let's try to click on it okay so we'll say dot click and see what happens let me minimize this and after this we'll create the object of this particular class so we'll say demo mouse over and we'll say d mouse variable which will hold the reference of this object and then we'll simply say we'll call the method all right so d mouse dot demo mouse events and let's try to run it so we are not doing any mouse over at the moment. Let's see what happens when we try to click on the explore link there. Okay, we'll open maximize the page and then you'll see that it has failed, right? So element not interactable exception. And why is that? Because the element is not visible, right? So here it's not interactable. It will be interactable only when this is visible. So whatever you can do with your in, in the manual testing. So basically you can't click on this explore unless until you mouse over it unless until it is visible right so if your mouse is here or the mouse pointer is here and you try to click somewhere here it will click on some other web element which is there right so the similar behavior that you experience when you are doing manual testing for this application selenium does exactly the same thing so in order to make this web element interactable you have to first mouse over and then it will be available it will be visible and it will be interactable and then you can click on this particular explore link so how we can do it so the first thing it's very simple no tricky things so there is an action chains class right so if you just go through the documentation let me open and search for action chains okay and here in the action chains this is the action chains implementation and action chains are the way to automate low level interactions such as mouse movements mouse button key press context menu so right click double click all those things you can handle using the action chains okay and this action chains class understanding of it is very very important because you can you need to have the drag and drop understanding of that how to right click how to double click how to mouse over right so similar like here we have phased in this particular application you have to mouse over only then we can click here okay so this action chains class will help you to achieve that and i'll explain you why this chains is there so action chains okay it is similar to creating a chain of events right so one after the, the another and i'll explain all of that not just the theory part so this action chains class 
will be helpful to perform any of the mouse events, key press, context menu, right click, double click, etc. And if you scroll below, you will see that you can click, you have the methods, click and hold, context click, double click, drag and drop, and many more methods there to handle all the different mouse events, right? So we'll cover some of it, and then you can go through this documentation and practice a lot of them using the concept that we'll learn in this particular tutorial. So now, so for example, after maximizing, before we can click on explore, we need to mouse over. So what we need to do is, first thing is, we need to create an object of the action chains class, right? So we simply say action chains, okay? And this action chains class takes the reference of your driver, right? So driver, you just have to pass the reference. And if you just mouse over, you will see that you have to import this action chains class. So just click on this and action chains class has been imported, right? So you can see that it has been imported. Let me remove this unused import here. So this is what you need to do from selenium.webdriver import action chains. And now let me keep the reference of this object into a particular variable. So I'll define a variable. So I'll say a chains. So you can provide any names name there for this variable which holds the reference of this object and now i can call the methods that are available in this action chains class right similar to what we have done here so now let me say a chains and then if you say dot you will see that you can move to element you can so there are many more methods you can click you can double click context click so what we are trying to do is we are trying to move to that particular web element right so we'll simply say move to the element and we need to provide the locator of that particular more button or more element so simply right click and inspect this particular web element and this is the relative x path we'll simply copy that and we can directly so let's first store this so we'll say driver dot find element by x path and provide the xpath so this is the locator for that particular more button and i'll define a variable i'll say more button or link whatever so i'll say button so this is just the name and then where do we want to move to we want to action change dot move to element which element we want to move to this particular more button there okay and that's the only thing that we want to do so this will move to that particular more button will move the mouse control there and then this particular web element this explore will be visible and interactable and then i will be able to click or the script will be able to click okay so let me put some weight there so that you can see everything happening properly so we'll say um, time dot sleep three seconds there and then time dot sleep after clicking on the explore all right so let me try to run this now and see that it's actually wor working this time so it will maximize the page and should mouse over on the more link there sorry okay now i got the issue okay and that's where i thought so here you'll see that it is still not interactable all right so what the error is or what the problem is so we have used move to element right so as the name suggests action chains so here what we are doing is we are chaining the operation so we are moving to the element and then after moving say for example after moving you'll say dot you can chain multiple events okay so I can move to the element I can then double click on it or I can right click on it so I can also say dot double click and then I can put another chain there right so you can chain create a chain of these methods and the last thing after doing this chain which is very important is to do perform okay if you miss this perform the whole chain is not going to execute or it won't be performed so this perform method that you see here is the actual or the last method that tells this whole sequence of chains or chain of commands to execute one after the another okay so say for example here i am saying move to element then i have to say perform only then it will go ahead and move to that particular web element right so this is very important that's what i missed in the previous execution so now if i'll run it it should be perfectly fine so it should open the browser and mouse over you can see that it has done it and then it will click on explore you can see explore got highlighted and it is loading the explore etw desktop right and it has closed the browser okay so this is very very important and that's what action chains 
chaining the commands and then performing. So if you misperform, you might be just wondering why it is not working. I'm doing this move to element or right click or context click, right? So similarly, you can go ahead and handle other mouse over events here. Say for example, I want to, you know, mouse over on my account. What I have to do is I'll simply inspect this particular my account. Okay. Get the locator. All right. And here I will simply say my account link. Just define a variable and store this locator into my account link. So I'll say driver dot find element by xpath and provide the my account xpath. Okay. And now if I have to mouse over on my account link, say for example, after or just, just before this, let's do that. So what I have to do is after this action change, I can say a change, right? and then dot move to and which element we want to move to we want to move to my account link right and then we have to say dot perform okay so it will move to that my account link and will perform it let's put some sleep so it'll say time dot sleep of three seconds it will do that and then it will come to this web element more button it will perform that mouse over event on the more button then it will go to the explore and click on that particular web element okay so let me run this and see that both the mouse over events are happening perfectly fine it will open the page maximize the page and the first time it will mouse over on the my account you can see that it has done it, it will wait for three seconds on the more now and then it will click on explore right so that's pretty much it about how to handle mouse over events or mouse over in selenium web driver with python it is pretty simple action chains class is the class that you should go ahead read about it practice a lot because this is the documentation that will give you a very very good understanding right if you go through the methods okay what all methods are available i'll cover most of it most of the methods anyways which are very very commonly used as part of this tutorial so i'll cover double click right click etc mouse over drag and drop anyways but it's always better to even after getting information from us instructors you go ahead and explore yourself practice on your real application practice on different websites that are available the live websites that are available um, if you come across and that will give you very very good understanding in automation so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching